Hello YouTube, Bob Lewis here, that time of year again for a Bob Lewis video, uh, down to one a year now, it's really lightened up my schedule a lot, <coughs> still cough and clear my throat regularly though during videos, uh, I apologize for I'm making a video for a while. I couldn't find my uh, fingernail clipper in the bathroom. Um, I thought it was in my bedside table drawer. So once it wasn't there, I, I didn't know where else to look. So it's about as lame as excuse as I can uh, muster up but no we know what time of year it is Hall of Fame time and I was under uh, strict orders to get this video in by people that I'm gonna vote for because they need my vote and uh, we'll get into that but uh, I also have a couple as a uh, an honorary Hall of Fame member I get a couple extra votes and uh, first of all, I just want to thank my Hall of Fame listeners out there and watchers and supporters. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, I've got uh, I've got a couple extra votes, and um, they are for the AR Falc Seven Lifetime Achievement Award and the Joe Ryan Fan Nice Guy Award. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to do my, <clears throat> my ballot, uh, my nominations in the form of long play records. I've seen people do various ways of doing this. This is about as original as I could come up with. Um, so not very. However, I try to put as much Bob Lewis stank on it as possible. So, first of all, my uh, let's do my nice guy award. Good guy award. Think Blue 77. And to represent that, pick the redheaded stranger always on my mind. Jesse, not only are you always on my mind, but you're on the minds and hearts of many collectors out there. As we all know, we are too. We're always on each other's minds. And you're a nice guy. And you think of others. Even me. And I appreciate that. Jesse, Think Blue, 77, you got my vote. My nomination for the Nice Guy Award this year. My Lifetime Achievement Award nomination goes to Mr. Fisher Bike, represented here by the 10 years after record. Shh. Because Jason has a shh, quietly awesome channel. He's also usually speaking very quiet in his videos. Because there's young children sleeping somewhere. But thankfully he's got a lot of bass in his voice. And it usually carries a little bit better than mine does. When I'm whispering. Mr. Fisherbike. This is a no represent. He, he, Jason's a handsome man. This does not represent him in any way. But. He's been doing it also for nearly 10 years, and after all that, he's still very likable and very much deserving of a Lifetime Achievement Award. And now we get into this year's nominations. A couple uh, honorees, if you will, non-nominations, represented here by this dynamic duo. Set to represent two dynamic new, uh, channels and uh, dynamic duos in the community. Up North Collectors, Mike and Luke, and MC and MP Fox. The Fox family down in Florida. You guys are awesome. Well-deserving channels. Um, legends. You know, not much else needs to be said. But this year... On a Reese. I have a feeling you're gonna you guys are gonna be getting in. 
official nominations. I had five that didn't get in last year. I'll name those five again at the end. I have reasons. What's up, Carlos? Uh, you're probably not watching this. But anyways, um, my first nomination, Bart. The PSA guy, starting off with a banger. And to represent that banger is none other than this album by Santana, which rocks. Bart rocks very much. Bart's into very detailed in his display and has to look right. And if you look at this album cover and you look at it, it looks right. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on in Bart's collection that people aren't aware of. Linemen, PSA slabs. Did you know that? Did you know he graded Terry Jackson? Did you know that? Bart does that. He rocks. Bart, you got a nomination from Bob Lewis. I try to limit the number of uh, times I refer to myself in the third person, but it's bound to happen. My second vote, Near Mint Musings, Brent. Bart and Brent. To represent Brent and Near Mint Musings is this Alice Cooper album right here. Love it to death. Because why? Brent is somebody that, that's right, looks like Alice Cooper. And he loves it to death. He loves it to death, and I believe it. You can hear it in his passion, the passion in his voice. And uh, also, I don't know if you know this, but Alice Cooper had a pretty raunchy persona on stage. But he was actually a pretty passive guy off stage. Conversely, Brent, very passive on camera and on YouTube wild man when you get him off camera nuts wild man alice cooper near mint musings brent next up here bowman 53 alex neil young's old ways i think you see where i'm going with this this is very you know Photographic right here. This this is a this is a wonderful image of old stuff, fields and grass, old fields and old jeans. This hat's ancient. Alex, the resident old timey guy, you know. He listens to phonographs and pays nickels for stuff. So give him a look. He's Hall of Fame worthy, in my opinion. All right, so when I think of this album right here, I think of Bruce Springsteen. I think of New Jersey. What else makes me think of New Jersey? Bill, the Hall of Fame collector. New Jersey. And Hall of Fame. Collection like no other. Autographs out of the Wing Wang and Wazoo. Guys I've never even heard of. On things I've never even held in my hand. All right, next. Mainly because I didn't have an album cover with a an atomic bomb mushroom cloud explosion on it. This is the this is the next best representation I had. Amish Dave Archer just wants to blow it all up. Keep your eye out for that guy. He's an up and comer. He's an up-and-comer. He's bound to catch on after 15 years or 20 years, whatever, however long he's been on here. But you know what? He's a classic. And classics. Wait. He's a legend. And legends never die. Led Zeppelin, number one. Dave, number one. You're number one. Not, not, not that other number one. You're number one, man. You guys still with me? All right, good. <laughs> Number, uh, the next one. This guy right here. I voted for this guy last year. This is Egg. This is Eggman. You know why? He likes loud music. This is a very loud record. Quite possibly the heaviest record ever recorded. 
comes with some weight. So does, you know, fully embracing the egg. It's a weighty decision, and my man Egg has done it. Also, trouble sleeping. Notice the name of this, uh, this banner here? Sleep. You know what else Egg likes? Drawing. He told me that once. There's a lot of other stuff going on there that represents a lot of things that Egg's channel represents. And, I mean, the guy's an inspiration, let's be honest. Without Egg, there's no chickens. Um, next is, uh, this guy right here. Good vibrations, the Beach Boys. California. Uh, good vibes. Rated rookie here. I mean, come on. The guy's collection is outstanding. Tons of hits. Beach Boys. Tons of hits. Sending out good vibes all the time. Josh, rated rookie. Voting for you again, man. All right. All right, this one right here. Bob Dylan. You might be thrown off by this a little bit, but bear with me. Victor Negron cards. The man is a poet. He could talk about any card from any era intelligently. You want to hear what he has to say. He can spin a yarn. Yarn spinner right here. Also, blood on the tracks, and I think Victor is probably one of the few people in this community I believe has actually potentially spilled another man's blood on, on tracks somewhere. I mean, the guy's from the Bronx. <laughs> I, I just like to play the odds. Um, next, Bob Seeger, beautiful loser. See if you can guess what I'm talking about. We all love him. He's he's our community's beautiful loser. He's still sports a collector or investor. He's that guy that you know makes a great video once a year and struggles to maintain that level of you know awesomeness. However, he's kind of like the place kicker of the community, the the YouTube Hall of Fame community potentially. You know they got to get in at some point. I think this is the beautiful loser's year. Love you, buddy. Cardboard podcast for life. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. The moment probably everybody's expecting. And you're right. And I'm, I'm thankful it's over. I'm thankful it's finally over. Because by all accounts, it's going to happen. And finally, the Beggar's Banquet can stop. It's on me. It's over, man. I think you're in. You know, stop with the text. Are you going to do a video? Are you going to vote for me? I don't know if Mike's messing with me. I mean, there's a chance that anything could happen. Or nothing can happen. I don't know. Begging, man. It's Beggar's. It's been a Beggar's Banquet for like, since last year, probably. Enough's enough, man. But I have a good feeling you're going to get in. Welcome aboard. You'll have hair grown places that you didn't before. It's a very manly thing to be in the Hall of Fame. That's all I got. That's it. Actually, hold on right now. I'll, I'll, I'm going to test a little theory here. Hang on. And we're back. My theory is that I'm bringing back an ending to a video. I just had to find the right thing. So I want to be encouraging this time of uncertainty, we're still there. Uh, I'm I'm still not certain in these times. So we're in times of uncertainty, and uh, I felt like people need to hear inspiring words. You know, who inspires people more than coaches? So I bought one of the the best coaches books that I had to me uh, available to me, and I'm going to read a little excerpt from that. This is page forty five. From Nuts and Bolts, Chapter 4. A New Way of Listening. To turn listening into a more powerful tool for you, you have to stop listening the old way and start listening a new way. Boom! You heard it here first. I love you guys.